Hello everyone, my name is Christina and I'm a medical student studying at Newcastle University. If it's your first time watching one of my videos or um, just landing on my channel, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel I talk about medicine, uni life, productivity and a bit of lifestyle too. In today's video I'm going to be talking all about some of the five medical books that I think are super interesting and will make your application stand out. Um, that being your application to medical school. There are a couple of books which are really, really popular and practically everyone reads when they're applying to medicine, but I think there's a couple of books which aren't as popular and I think are just as amazing. So that is what this video is all about. I don't wanna just talk about the super popular medical books like This Is Going To Hurt and um, Being Mortal and stuff like that. Those are amazing books from what I've heard. But I think nowadays, if you go to an interview talking about This Is Going To Hurt, the interviewers, will probably just, you know, it's something that they've heard over and over again. So I think if you can come in with a different book, different insight, different things that you've learned, it will really help you to stand out. If you think about it, these books are popular for a reason. It's because everyone absolutely loves them, which is great. But I think there are other books which are equally as amazing, just not many people have heard of them before. Okay, so book number one is called The Body, A Guide for Occupants. In summary, this book is pretty much just all about the human body and how it works, how it heals itself, how it copes with disease, and pretty much everything to do with how the body functions. When I was reading about this book, I couldn't help but think like, is this going to be a bit boring? Is it is it going to be just like a textbook with a bunch of facts? And, you know, this enzyme does this, this co-transport does that. But from the reviews, it sounds like it's absolutely amazing. It has thousands of um, thousands of five star reviews on Amazon, and it sounds like the book starts off with an insight on how the external of our bodies work. So it talks about our skin, our hair, our nails our um, just external parts of our bodies and then it works inwards and talks about our organs, organ systems, bones, blood, literally everything. The author also makes sure to demystify a bunch of myths about the human body and give a bunch of facts to help like clarify things. He drops like a bunch of fun facts about the body as well as dropping in like bits of humour as well. So it's not like a really serious book which is like mega sciencey. It does have a bit of fun to it as well. As a medical applicant, I think this book is a great thing to read because you're going to be learning about the human body for years and probably treating it as a doctor for decades. So if you can talk about this in your interviews and in your personal statement, it will really show your passion for medicine. Some of the insane facts that I found out when researching this book were that, number one, in every single cell in your body, keeping in mind that there's trillions of them, um, you have a meter of DNA in every single one. So you literally have like, I think he said, more than enough DNA if you lined it all up to like wrap around the solar system and I was like wow. Another one was number two, each time you take a breath you exhale 25 sextillion molecules of oxygen. That's so many molecules over the course of the day that you would have inhaled a breath of air from literally everyone on the planet. Yeah, inhale at least one molecule from the breath of every person who has ever lived. Wow, okay. Third one, there were so many, but I could only include three because it's a short video. Um, every day it, it's estimated that between one and five of your cells will turn cancerous, but your immune system picks them up, catches them and kills them. Shout out to the immune system, thank you. By the way guys, this book is available for £4.50 on Amazon. What a bargain for such a cool book. I'll put links to everything in the description box below. Also another disclaimer, all the links in the description box for these books will be affiliate links. That just means that it's exactly the same price for you but I do get a little reward for giving you guys the link and telling you about this book. Um, it's just another way for you guys to support this channel and help me out. So yeah, don't worry about paying too much or if you're paying more, that's not the case. Book number two is a book that I have actually read. This is called The Prison Doctor. As you can imagine from the title, this book is all about this woman who was a GP, Dr. Amanda Brown. She kind of decides to have a career change and work in prisons. And the book is pretty much just about all the different crazy things that she sees in these prisons. She's worked in some of the most intense and extreme prisons where like they keep the most serious criminals and stuff. Um, so I remember reading it and thinking like, it was, it was really intense, she had so many crazy stories to share. It was so, so interesting because it's completely different to like normal medicine. I guess it's the same in a way, like you're treating patients, treating people, but the situations that she's dealing with and like the types of people, it's completely different. So it was really interesting. It's also quite a short book. So if you're not like a massive reader and you don't want anything too long, too intense, this is a great thing to go with. I think The Body is a bit of a longer book. So maybe if you're not a massive reader, that might not be the best option. But yeah, this one was quite short. I read this in like a few days. By the way, guys, if you haven't already watched my How to Read More Books video, make sure you watch that because I'll share a bunch of tips on how you guys can read more books to uh, mention in your personal statement or interview so yeah make sure you watch that video i'll link it down below 
I think this would be a really interesting book to read as a medical applicant because treating criminals is quite a touchy subject because um, you know some people have the attitude that like they're no longer people they've lost their rights as a human because they commit crimes and as a doctor that kind of doesn't matter because you still have a duty of care to be compassionate um, you know do the best that you can to keep them alive and treat them make them healthy and stuff like that this book is also available for £4.50 on Amazon so yeah I'll link, leave the link to this one too next one is called Unnatural Causes this one is another quite interesting one so if you're into murder mysteries pathology crime like true crime this might be a book for you this book is by a forensic pathologist called dr richard shepherd and it's pretty much the book covers the journey over his life but it focuses mainly on his job which was doing autopsies on autopsies if you guys don't know it's pretty much where you kind of look at a dead body cut it up investigate it and find out how that person died and he did over twenty three thousand autopsies not only that but he also did some of the autopsies on some of the most horrific crimes in the UK and he mentions and talks about some of these things so he took I think he was involved in the, the death of Diana I don't quite know like what exactly but some are like some really high profile cases so the book this book on Amazon has amazing reviews as well all of these books do to be honest not just this one from the reviews it seems like this book is like a huge page turner like you won't be able to let it go you'll be constantly like just reading it and like engrossed in it so this one sounds really really good i'm kind of thinking like my mum loves um like murder mystery type things so i'm thinking like she might like this he also makes things really easy to understand so it's not just like a bunch of medical jargon that you won't be able to understand or read it's like really easy to follow this book is also available for £4.50 on amazon as well next book is called duty of care this is a very topical and very recent book um this is pretty much just about an nhs's doctor's experience working on the front line during the middle of the pandemic and this only came out two or three months ago so it's very very new so i feel like if you talk about this book it might be quite interesting because it's so recent no one else not many people have would have read it or heard of it um and it's pretty much yeah just set during the height of the pandemic and he tells kind of what it's like to work as a doctor during the pandemic the reviews seem like really like heartwarming like apparently it was really eye-opening gripping it's just another book that you'll be hooked on basically another really kind thing is that all the proceeds of this book are going to be donated to a charity which supports healthcare workers so i feel like that's a really nice thing to do especially considering what the book is um talking about and what it's based on last but not least this book is called the immortal life of henrietta Lacks. this book is slightly different because it's kind of a bit more commercial i guess this book is also a movie so if you want to watch the trailer for this book slash film i'll put it in the link below um i guess if you wanted to you could just watch the film and not read the book but the book is always better it's about a girl a woman called henrietta lax henrietta lax is a african-american woman living in america obviously during the 1900s she sadly has cervical cancer and she goes to a hospital to get some treatment for it but sadly she dies by the way guys this is a true story despite the fact that she died her doctors took some samples of her cells um just to do some research with and investigate and stuff but they didn't tell her family or henrietta herself so after some i think a few years or so and um, they do some studies experiments cultures on the, on her cells and they find that they're very very different they were able to grow in cultures that other cells weren't able to grow in they were very aggressive they were growing quickly they were just very very different to what they'd seen before since her cells were so different they were used her cells to do lots of scientific like innovation and improvements for example um they used her cells to develop the polio vaccine i hope i'm getting that right and they used it in aids and cancer research um, so they were a fantastic resource for science and they really helped to just push modern science forward. Her cells are now called HeLa cells and they're technically named after her like HE from Henrietta and then LA from Lax. So they kind of like join that together to form HeLa. And the book just talks about all these breakthroughs and it talks about kind of her life and her family. And then it takes you on a journey of what her cells did for science and kind of where things are now, which is quite interesting because as you can imagine, they've made the scientists have made so much money from her cells and from this research from innovation from the development of the vaccines but her family i don't think have received anything this book kind of uncovers like lots of dark secrets about modern medicine especially in the us so i guess it's slightly different to the uk but i thought it was so interesting i thought i'd mention it anyway um the author of the book isn't a member of henrietta's family but she spends years and years doing interviews doing research finding out 
all the small details of this family and then piecing it together to write this book. I think this is a great book to read if you just want to find out what are like the dark parts of medicine. Medicine can't be all sunshine and rainbows. What are some of the not so good parts of it? Especially if you're interested in like the American side of things because that is what this book focuses on. I think if you read this book and talked about it, you'd absolutely stand out in interview because rarely anyone talks about the negative aspects of medicine, especially when it comes to taking advantage of people's cells or taking advantage of people for the use of scientific research and stuff like that. I feel like you'd stand out quite a lot because you'd be able to talk about things that no one else is talking about and as long as you can then get back to why you want to pursue medicine why it influenced you what's inspired you about it then yeah that would really stand out okay so i know i said just five books initially in the title at the start of the video but there were a bunch of books that i came across that i thought were so interesting and i thought i really want to mention them to you guys and i really want to mention them in general so i'm just going to put a couple of books that i'm going to quickly mention that are really really good that have good reviews as well so one of them is the Doctor Will See You Now. This is actually written by the guy who is featured in GPs Behind Closed Doors. He just talks about some of the interesting things that he sees in his GP practice and stuff like that. Another one is Critical. This is all about intensive care medicine, which is obviously so, so sad because that's pretty much the ward where people are fighting for their lives, like really, really bad cancer or um, like massive, terrible, really, really awful, like trauma or car accident, people that are like literally fighting for their lives. That's what this book is all about, really interesting. Another one is called Everything That Makes Us Human. This one is about um, a surgeon, it's just his case notes, so him writing about the different things that he's seen, the different people that he's, um, the different patients that he's done surgery on, um, and yeah, it's just about children's brain surgery, so I feel like that would be interesting. Second to last is Dear Life. This is written by a palliative care doctor, and she pretty much just talks about love loss and consolidation um she i'm pretty sure she just gives an insight into what it's like to work as a doctor um, and treating people who are on their on the end of their life palliative care medicine just means that someone sadly has an illness usually cancer where they're at this stage that you you're treating them they definitely will sadly pass away but your job is just to make them more comfortable and pass away in a more positive and easier way than it would have been if you weren't able to treat them Hope that makes sense last but not least is war doctor you might have heard of this one it's kind of popular and it's pretty much just a surgeon who has volunteered in war-torn countries um and he just shares some of the things that he's experienced he's obviously working in places very different to the uk very different healthcare systems to the nhs and he's just talking about some of the things that he's seen some of the just stories that he's collected over the years and yeah that's what that book is about i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope it's not too long i just wanted to quickly give you some books that might be interesting especially because interview season is coming up and stuff like that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know which book that you're thinking of getting or which book you've already got in the comments below i'd love to know and yeah thank you so much for watching bye